Hi, this is the Everyday Movie Goer. Um, I'm making this video for two reasons. The first reason is to make an appeal to you. Um, if every every time you watch my videos, please, please make sure you uh, rate the video and comment on how helpful the video was to you because I'm making these reviews to help you. I mean, I like watching these movies and I like, you know, sitting down in the theater or sitting down on the couch in my uh, living room and I love, you know, watching uh, movies either on the big screen or on the small screen. And I, you know, take what I know about movies and what I know about a certain movie and I relate it to you uh, for the purpose of helping you decide whether or not you should see it. Um, and I want to be as helpful as I can. So if I overlook anything or if there's, uh, you know, any complaints that you have, constructive criticism, not you look fat or you're ugly or, you know, lots of other, uh, lots of other, you know, insult comments that are off subject but you know constructive criticism if you have any of that uh rate uh rate the uh rate the video on the bottom and comment on it too and uh let me know and i appreciate your feedback now on to the review one of my favorite action movies of all time um i just actually i just recently watched a couple of days ago and it became one of my favorite action movies of all time sort of Taking the top spot away from uh, Die Hard. Uh, that is the John Woo movie Hard Boiled, starring Chow Young Fat. And if I'm to say anything about this movie, it's wow. Um, the action sequences are amazing. People die in ways that I never, you never think they die. And I laughed out loud a few times just because I couldn't believe what I was seeing in a, in a good way. I just couldn't believe, you know, how people were dying and you know the explosions and. You know, it's almost like a real-life video game that, you know, like, they're shooting guns all over the place and, like, it's unlimited ammunition and, like, they never run out of clips and people are, like, dying and flying, bodies flying and it's crazy. And, uh, one critic even said that it's, uh, more exciting than, like, a dozen diehards and I have to, like, agree completely. It's just, you know, crazy, crazy action. Um, so... I'm gonna put this review, you know, I'm gonna build this review around the fact that the action sequences are so amazing. There are some things that, you know, keep it like away from perfection. Like for me, uh, one thing that uh, I didn't like so much was the story. It's been done before. It's the uh, whole buddy cop, they're undercover and then one of the cops gets killed. So then one of the cops has to avenge his friend who died. And, you know, it's been, it's been done before, but you know, I'm not, this this movie doesn't really do it better or do it worse. It just has that story persistent throughout the entire film, and you know it's it's okay, but it's you know it's, like I said, it's been done before, and the acting is above average for an action film. Uh, with Chow Yun Fat, you know, giving one of his best performances. If I have to, you know, rate the performance of an action movie, which you know isn't really like that important. You know, the acting really isn't as important in an action movie as it is in a drama. But in this movie, it's a good performance. And also, make sure, this is really important, make sure that if you rent or buy this version of the film, you watch it with the Cantonese audio and the subtitles in English. Do not, do not, do not watch it with the American audio, with the English dubs, because it is horrible. It is stupid, it is campy, it is overacted. It is wooden, wooden dialogue. It's just dumb, okay? So don't watch it with the American uh, dubbed audio. Watch it with the Cantonese audio and the English subtitles. Or if you know Cantonese, then just watch it with the Cantonese audio only. But again, no, no English dubs. So if I had to rate this movie, I would rate it a solid 4.5. 4 out of 5. Watch it if you're a fan of action. And if you're not a fan of action and bloodshed, then... You're out of luck, but watch this if you're a fan of action. My next review is going to be of the highly anticipated movie The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger as the Joker and his, what seems to be his, going to be his finest performance and uh, for maybe a uh, greatest Oscar winning performance as well. And uh, I can use, I can just tell right now the joke that just by the trailers and what people have been saying, the Joker is probably going to go down in history as one of the best movie villains of all time. And I can't wait to see it. I'm going to catch a midnight showing uh, today, which is uh, Friday at 12 o'clock. 
And hopefully if the tickets aren't sold out, I'm going to get mine and I'm going to watch it. Because I've been wanting to watch it since last year. So uh, until my review of The Dark Knight, this is the Everyday Movie Goer and keep on watching movies.